Yo man, na 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 na. I said yo man, na 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 na. I said yo man, na 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 da 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 da. We aren't getting many Machado. We aren't getting many Machado. It's a real sad day for the Yankees. Oh my God, it is. We aren't getting many Machado. We aren't getting many Machado. Oh, da da na na. Sorry, folks. Welcome, 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 folks. How's everybody doing? No, this was not rehearsed at all. <laughs> I literally just got on this thing. Um, yeah, uh, we will get started. Give it a second, folks. Give it a second, folks. Give it a second, folks, and we will get started here. Guys, go ahead and share this out if you don't mind. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Hey, be quiet. Don't interrupt me. <clears throat> we will get started here any momento, folks. All righty. Guys, in all seriousness, I was just joking around at the beginning. Just came in my head and decided to do that. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to head in. Zoe, please. I'm, I'm, don't interrupt me. You don't interrupt me. Sorry, everybody. Unbelievable. All right, folks. So let's go ahead and get started. With the interrupting! She leaves and you start? Alright, again. Let me try this again. Now I'm gonna ignore you no matter what. Alright. Moving forward, folks. Big news of the day. We know what it is. DJ LeMayu is signed. The Yankees pick up LeMayu for $12 million a year for two years. LeMayu, if you guys don't know, is a great fielder. Colorado guy. Uh, last year, he hit pretty poorly on the road. But if you go to three years, uh, I think it's 20, 2015, 2016, and 2017, he hit about 280 on the road, 285, 290, 300, one of those years on the road. So... Are the Yankees getting a good player here? Yes, they are. They're getting a good guy. Um, is he Manny Machado? No, no. Are the Yankees better with Manny Machado? Yes. Do the Yankees get better today with LeMayu? Yes, they do. Um, as much as many of us don't want to hear it, the Yankees are better today than they were yesterday. A lot is, I don't know if a lot is still going to happen, but things are going to happen. What I mean by that is Sonny Gray is going to be dealt. I would not be shocked if Sonny Gray is dealt by Monday. I think now that the, or he agreed to an arbitration deal, the Yankees know what salary they can move. Joe Sherman brought up the point that I brought up here recently when I mentioned that is it possible that the Yankees could potentially deal Andujar now and really replenish their system. San Diego makes a ton of sense in that regard. Would they give up some of their top prospects for Andujar? I don't think that happens. Um, I got a feeling that Andujar is going to stick around. Um, again, let me say this. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Let me say this. I will not say Manny's not coming to the Yankees until I see the guy sign somewhere. The reason I say that is, I forgot who it was, but they brought up a good point. 
the Yankees could very well say, look, and I will go into the Manny Machado thing. I will go into that a little more. But if the Yankees get, I mean, obviously, yes, it, it doesn't look like the Yankees are going to get him. I'm just saying. If you ever wanted to put leverage on a guy who really wants to play for your team, go out there and sign a few guys to start. I mean, that's what the Yankees did. They went out there, they signed LeMayu, they signed Tulowitzki. So if Manny's going to sign, I mean, he's like, come on, guy, you want to be here? Be here for what we're telling you to be here. We're giving you a deal. Come here. But, but, um, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I, I don't think it's likely. So if I'm wrong, I I'll say, well, I was wrong. Great, great signing, but I don't see it happening. Um, I do think Sonny Gray gets traded. And I do, I, I, for everybody asking, I don't see Harper as another realistic option for the Yankees. Harper's going to get more than probably what Machado gets. So I don't see that deal happening. I don't see the Yankees pivoting and going to Harper. I just don't. Um, Jack, my friend, thank you. I appreciate it. What does the infield look like now? If you get Manny, how does your infield look pre-post Didi? Also, are you going to rant if he doesn't sign? Um, on the ranting side, if he doesn't sign, um, yeah, I think I will have a few things to say because I do not understand how you let two 26-year-olds just go on away somewhere else. Um, we don't know all the details about Machado yet. Again, um, there was a lot of things that I was told, a lot of things that I held back from reporting for multiple reasons. Um, one of the things I was specifically told, and I told, actually, I think I told you guys this in my 20 minute video I did the other day. The main concern I have with Manny Machado and that I had with Manny Machado, I actually told some of you guys this on the side, is time frame. Because I heard from one person, so I didn't want to really put it out there because I didn't know how truthful it could be, that the Yankees were working really on a time frame with him and they wanted to lock him up as quick as they can. And a couple of weeks, might have been a week or so, I don't even remember how long ago it was, but I, I put information out there saying that I think he signs by the end of the week. Somebody told me um, about a week ago or so that if he didn't sign by last Friday, he didn't see the Yankees getting him. Now, you know, I, I told a lot of you guys that on the side that the only thing that worried me was time frame and that it's taking a bit too long, but... Again, I'll never sit here and say I can doubt the Yankees because we've seen them do this and go ahead. Now again, this is a different type of Yankee ownership. So, you know, Ellsbury's not going nowhere. I would fall on my ass if Ellsbury got traded at this point. It's already January. Uh, Sonny Gray no doubt gets moved. I think the percentage drops on Andujar being traded, but I think it's possible. Um, but, uh, we will see, we, we will see what happens. Um, I, I would never, I would never say never, just put it that way. Never say never. Brandon, my friend, thank you. I don't get what they are thinking. This is not a championship in field. In my opinion, I still see one more move. Brandon, I agree with you. I agree with you guys. Look, like I told you, I am holding a rant in. There is definitely a rant I want to do on the New York Mets. <laughs> I mean, Yankees. <laughs> I'm starting to get them confused. <laughs> um, there, there's still a rant that I want to do. Um, but I will hold that until I see Manny Machado holding up another, uh, another uniform. So I am not necessarily ready to trash the Mets. <laughs> I mean, the Yankees again. Um, uh, the Mets pre-2019. Mets pre um, I'm not ready to trash them yet. Let me say this. I might get bashed by some of you guys, but let me say this real quick. I like the Britain deal. I like the LeMayu deal. I like the Tulowitzki deal for the salary. Um, I didn't like the Sabathia deal, and I didn't like... The Gardner deal. Thought they were pointless. 
The Yankees went ahead and made these other moves, right? And, and all right, here, here's let me let me before I answer some questions, let me keep talking. Give me a second. I'm gonna make a video about this to break this down, but I'm gonna talk about it more. For anybody saying the Yankees got DJ LeMayu, that he's not gonna start. Look, DJ LeMayu would not have signed with the New York Yankees if he wasn't going to be a starter. The Yankees had to, in, in some sort of way, let him know, look, you are going to be starting. You're a starter. Now, it might be multiple positions. DJ LeMayu is not on this team to be a bench player. DJ LeMayu is not a bench player, folks. He's not a bench player. Okay? So however you see it, whether he can play a lot of first base, which you hear he can, he can play a lot of second, he can play third, he can play short. This is not a bench player. Anybody thinking that this was a move to be a guy that plays three days a week? You're wrong. This is not, this is not at all uh, um, Neil Walker. This guy would not have signed with the Yankees if he wasn't promised a starting spot. Whether, however that is, DJ LeMayu would have had countless opportunities to be a starter. There's no way in the world LeMayu was signed to, to play three days a week. He's a gold glove second baseman. He's an all-star. He hit 270 plus last year, 14 home runs. He, he's not a guy that was signed to play three games a week. He's not taking Neil Walker's role. It's going to be maybe a Neil Walker role, but playing daily. This, this was not a sign you make and say, hey, hey, DJ, we know there's many teams out there that would like to have you as a starter. Would you come play with us three days, of, three days a week? Really? Really, folks? Yes, he was brought in. No, no, I think Tulo's going to Tulo's gonna be the shortstop. If, if Troy Tulowitzki's healthy, Tulowitzki's playing short, and he's mainly going to play short. If Troy Tulowitzki's healthy, he's playing shortstop. Mark, you can mark that down. Troy Tulowitzki's playing shortstop if he is healthy. If he makes it through spring training healthy, Tulowitzki's the shortstop. But I also feel that the Yankees feel uh, to themselves what LeMayu also brings the gray glove. So automatically, DJ is a golden glove type guy. He could play, again, second, third, first, whatever you want to do. So at the end of the day on that one, if Tulowitzki didn't make it, you could put Glaber at short and have a, have a defensive wizard at second base. So I see why in many different ways that this could happen. So the infield did just get better, which in case helps the pitching staff to be better. But yeah, it is definitely not um, a guy that was signed to play three times at the week. Yankees must sign Adam Ottavino now. I agree. I think Ottavino now could almost be that last piece you make. And I do think at this point you trade Sonny Gray and you go ahead and um, and get prospects for him at this point and try to have another, you know, San Diego, the Reds, one of these teams pick up most of whatever his new uh, one-year contract's going to be. I think, I think the Yankees are riding on Tula Whiskey being healthy. But they're also smart enough to have something else in place with a guy that's so versatile that he still could play all over the place. Yeah, I think Sonny Gray is definitely traded here in the next couple of days. Yeah, Ryan, I agree with you, man. I mean, I've said this. I've been saying this for a while. I told teams, you know, even when the Yankees were a game away from the World Series. Now... To be fair, Didi was a big lefty, and Greg Bird was a big lefty. Now, let me say this. This is not nothing based on any sources. This is pure me talking speculation-wise. I, I wrote on Twitter a couple of weeks ago that the Yankees, I, I was talking to a scout that I know, and he told me flat out, the Yankees still love Greg Bird. They think Greg Bird, no doubt about it, could still be a starter at this level and be very productive. I'll tell you guys this right now. If I got one prediction to make, 
if I have one prediction to make, it is do not be shocked if Greg Bird is the is the starting first baseman on opening day. Do not be shocked. Trust me on that one. Don't be shocked because I know how much the Yankees love this guy. He has not been given up on. I would be shocked if he doesn't get a long look in spring to win the first base job. No question in my mind. Let me answer a couple of these questions, guys. Let's see. Uh, the first one. Thought I missed one. Yes, Jack. What lefty bat do you offset the right-handed lineup? Also, what does the opening day lineup look like? Wow. You're going to give me a second. Give me a second. Let's do this right now, folks. Let's do this right now live. And then, matter of fact, Jack, hold your question. I'm going to talk about that. Give me a moment. Uh, I had another one I want to answer. Aaron judges the truth. Yankees have spent $113 million this offseason on, Gar on Gardner, CeCe, Hat, Britton, Tulo, and DJ LeMayu. Trash may you, he called them. And people call him Cash God. Well, okay, guys, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. I'm going to break out a book. Going to put some information down. I'm going to go with our opening day lineup and see what it looks like. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to say that. Um, we're going to go ahead and say two lows healthy. Andy over here at third. We're going to say, uh, all right, we're going to go that way. I'm going to go with him here. Andy, uh, Sanchez. We already know. We know Torres. Uh, we got Hicks, Judge. And Stanton. All right, let's see. Ryan, how the hell you read my mind, damn it? You read my mind. Art, my friend, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got. I am basing this off of not knowing anything. So I, I don't know about injuries that could happen. We don't know about any of that. Um... My friend, I will get to that question after I go ahead and put this lineup out there for us. Um, I'm going to go with the assumption that DJ LeMayu is the starting third baseman. Just on opening day, that's the position he'll play. Andahar is going to be the DH. So let's go ahead and say this. We'll have... Uh, take him out. We got him. Take him out. We have... Um, ba 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 Sorry, folks. Give me one second. We're going to go ahead and do that. I'm almost done already. Uh... Ugh, the more I write this down, the more I get a little sick. Oh, my God. I feel like the Incredible Hulk getting angry. <laughs> I'm writing this down. I'm starting to get angry. My head's shaking like this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is kind of ugly. Um, um... Oh, God. <clears throat> Lord have mercy. This isn't cute. Oh. Oh, God. All right. Uh, this was quick. I, I don't know. Um, you guys ready? Here's what I came up with quickly. Matter of fact, let me make a change real quick. All right, here we go. Here's what I came up with really quickly, okay? 
Batting leadoff, playing center field, Aaron Hicks. Batting second, playing second base, Glaber Torres. Batting third, playing right field, Aaron Judge. Miguel Andujar batting fourth, DHing. Stanton batting fifth, uh, playing left field, Sanchez six, catching. Bird seventh, playing first, Tulo eight. Playing short. And LeMayu, nine, playing third base. That's the way I see it right now. And that is not the cutest thing of all time. <laughs> I might rant now. Holy shit. I might have to rant. I, Lee, I don't know about that, Lee. I don't know about that. Bird there because I believe Greg Bird is going to get a very, very real chance to win first base. Based on, on knowledge I have of how this organization loves him, I think he's going to get every damn chance in the world. So here's what I said again. If I don't make it through this, I apologize ahead of time. I dream of better days. <laughs> I dream of better days. I wrote this in my dream book. I got all my dreams in here. <laughs> all right, here we go. Um, oh, man. Okay, here we go. Hicks, Torres, Judge, Andujar, Stanton, Sanchez, Bird, Tulowitzki, LeMayu. <laughs> Sign the guy! Sign him up! I thought I went to Macy's! I ended up in the Dollar Tree! Off the top shelf, let me get a LeMayu! No, the new Machado's too good for us! Give me a LeMayu! Yeah, get Greg Burr from the refurbished section, it's good. We like refurbished birds around here. Hicks, Judge, and uh, Hicks. Torres, Judge, Andujar, Stanton, Sanchez, Bird, Tulo, LeMayu. You know, I don't want to get too wild up. I'm not going to get too wild up, folks. I'm not going to get too wild up. All is well. All is well in the planet. Let things be. We'll see what happens, okay? Pete LeMayu is a gold glove second baseman. He's going to play second. Why would you ever move him to third? What has Glaber done defensively to earn that position? Please answer that. I agree. Glaber hasn't really done anything to earn that position, but here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. The Yankees signed Tulowitzki. To be the starting shortstop. Now, does that mean he's healthy? Hell, we don't know when the hell Tulowitzki's healthy. When Tulowitzki's healthy, he's hurt. I mean, let's be honest here. The guy's healthy and he's hurt. So, yes, I would not rule anything out, like I said. But trust me when I tell you they got Tulowitzki to play short. Uh, Brandon says, am I crazy to think that a trade of Andy Gray and Jacoby to the Padres is in the works? like Felix is hinting at. And then we sign Manny with the money. It's possible, but again, this is the only question I got to ask about, about uh, uh, Jacoby Ellsbury. What has Jacoby Ellsbury shown 
that would make any team want him. What has Jacoby Ellsbury shown anybody that would make any team want this guy? Just being honest here. What? So, okay, guys, let, let's do this. Let's be fair, okay? We're going to be fair here. Let's be fair. I'm, I'm the general manager of San Diego, okay? I'm the GM of the Padres. Hey, uh, hey, Cash, um... You know, I know you got LeMayu over there now. Uh, any, uh, any, uh, any more interest here to go ahead and and um, and uh, bring in uh, uh, bring in Andohar? Is Andohar available? You know, maybe maybe we'll take on uh, we'll take on uh, Sonny Gray. We could throw him in a rotation if he does good. We'll deal him at the deadline. Um, hey, uh, can you take? Uh, how about also Ellsbury thrown in there? When is the last time Ellsbury played? Stop it! What's the point? And on top of that, folks, Jacoby Ellsbury, as long as he doesn't play, the Yankees are covered by insurance. So they're not pushing this whole thing to move Jacoby Ellsbury. They're not pushing this whole thing to move Ellsbury. Trust me. The Yankees aren't out there pushing an Ellsbury deal that, 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 uh, that blatantly. They're not saying that he's available. They don't. They could probably care less at this point. We all know that, my friend. We all know the Yankees have a lot of money. To answer a question that was there before, let me go ahead and answer this question. Somebody threw it out there, but what does this do for the 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 problem the Yankees had with scoring with runners in scoring position? Um. I don't think they really address that need much at all. Um, I think they're just hoping for better timely hitting. I, I think LeMayu helps that a bit. Uh, so we'll we'll see what happens and we'll go from there. We'll go from there. Is LeMayu what I expected? Well, I haven't really seen him uh, yet right now. Um, but I like DJ LeMayu. I'm not going to knock the guy because he's not Manny Machado. I like LeMayu. It shocked me. I didn't hear nothing about LeMayu. Um, so it, it really, really, uh, got to me pretty quickly. It's pretty surprising. What about Eric Hosmer? No, the, the Yankees aren't taking on a deal like that. Why not Glaber to third base? I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. Okay, I see what a lot of you guys are saying. Very disappointed in my Yanks, I understand. Can you please tell me where's the lefties? They don't got them right now. Greg Bird. Greg, <laughs> Greg Bird will likely be one of the guys that we can see playing. If somebody doesn't mind, can somebody tell me how many times over the last couple of years that DJ LeMayu has struck out? I didn't look at the strikeout numbers. I'm pretty sure he's more of a contact guy than somebody that strikes out a lot. So can somebody please throw those numbers at me when they have a chance? I did not look that up. Um, <clears throat> 82 last year, but I think last year he missed some time also. He's never, the most he's ever struck out is 90. Okay, so yeah, you got a guy that puts the ball in play. Again, I seen a lot of Yankee fans talking about the splits um, with DJ LeMayu and they're looking at last year only. Look at the previous years too. LeMayu, I know, batted, um, what was it, um... Uh, 216 on the road in 2018, but the years prior to that, I think I went three years back. I think the lowest he hit was like 280. So, I mean, DJ LeMay is a guy that can hit now. Is he going to be the same hitter out of Colorado? Probably not. It's a hell of a, game, a place to play 81 games. That's why I think a guy like um, Daniel Murphy is going to have such a good year if he's healthy. He plays 81 games in that league, so we'll see. Yeah, he hit 340 one year. 
Uh, that that's the year he hit over three hundred on the road. Also, what's the problem moving and hard of first base? Um, that yeah, that's something to bring up. That is pretty interesting. Maybe it's something the Yankees do. Maybe it's something they they eventually consider doing. Uh, Rob, what about Glaber at shortstop? His natural position. Gold Glover LeMayu at his natural position of second base. Tulowitzki at third base, diminished range and injury prone, and Miggy to first. Rob, I like it, but let me tell you why um, I'm not a fan of it, and I could tell you right now it's not going to happen. The first reason is I know Andy Martino or somebody put out there that the Yankees think Glaber is going to be a better shortstop than a second baseman. That totally contradicts everything that I've been told. That the Yankees like Glaber at second and think he can become a very good fielder, much more likely at second base than at short because they feel his range will be better at, at second base. Now, again, I could be wrong there, but I've heard that a lot, that the Yankees like uh, Glaber more at second. Two... Troy Tulowitzki was signed to be the shortstop. He wasn't signed to be a third baseman. I think there's a possibility when Didi Gregorius gets back that Tulo plays second or first base. Um, but now with LeMayu added, I, I don't know what that does at all for even Tulowitzki. I think there's a good chance if he doesn't hit enough He'll be gone by the time Didi's back. Or maybe trade it to a team that needs a shortstop. Um, but it's interesting. The Yankees are definitely putting a lot on that infield. No doubt about it. Thoughts on Adovino now? Um, I still like it. I still like it for the Yankees. I still think it makes a lot of sense. Can Harper get a mullet? If, <laughs> I was going to say a mallet. Can Harper get a mullet if he signs with the Yankees? I, I don't think Harper's signing with the Yankees. So I don't think we got to worry about it. Um, I, I just, I would love it. I would love it as much as anybody else, but I don't see it happening. John Olaru took his swing back from Greg Bird. Yes. Uh, Daniel Murphy over DJ LeMayu. Hey, when it comes to the bat, I agree. You guys know that nobody was pushing Daniel Murphy to the Yankees quite like I was. I love the idea of him playing first base and DHing. I think it makes a ton of sense. I think he's the type of guy this lineup really needed, even if it's one year or two years. Um, but the Yankees obviously decided that this infield is not good defensively. And adding a guy like LeMayu really helps it greatly. And I think the defense part uh, made a lot more sense. I don't think Daniel Murphy had anything to do with defense. Because I think if you put him at first base or DH, that's the last thing you worried about. I guarantee you that Daniel Murphy's a better first baseman than Luke Voigt. I guarantee that. So the Yankees didn't go that route, guys. Should have signed Marwin Gonzalez. It'll be very interesting to see what deal Marwin Gonzalez gets. What is your opinion on uh, Felix, my good friend's opinion, uh, confidence on us getting Manny Machado? Look, Felix is confident. You know, he's confident. He has his own people he speaks to, and he's confident. He has every right to... Um, to express what he feels or express what he feels he knows. Um, so he has a lot of people he speaks to also, just like I do. Um, so, you know, if he's he's putting out what he what he's hearing and what he believes. There's nothing wrong with that. Dan Clark, your thoughts? Um, again, guys, I'm not gonna knock Dan Clark at all. Um the reason being that I'm not going to knock Dan Clark is because, shit, sometimes you're wrong. Um, I mean, sometimes you're wrong. Shit happens. Um, it happens, man. It happens. So, um, I'm not going to sit here and knock on Dan Clark and hate on Dan Clark. 
I think the thing is that a lot of people kind of had their own opinions already on Manny Machado. Um, I told you guys I had I had information that kind of contradicted to a degree what some of the stuff of like uh, you know the the first week of January to to the you know. I always I was always concerned about a timeline per one of the things I was told that kind of concerned me but again I confirmed a lot of what these guys were saying so you know that's the crazy thing um I I definitely confirmed some of it you know when it comes to um a lot of people talking about uh, Manny Machado uh, telling teammates that he's going to be a Yankee. I confirmed that with a very good Latin American source who uh, broke a couple of things to me. Um, was one of the first people to tell me that the, the Zach Britton contract was one of the first people to tell me um, about the, the thing I talked about a while ago that was with the Indians and uh, the Yankees working on a deal. Um, that turned out to be accurate too, so it, it is what it is. George Steinbrenner is turning over on his grave. I mean, I mean, no doubt about it, man. Um, it really looks bad for the Yankee brand. It doesn't make you feel like you're watching the Yankees. Um, but I tell you what, um, you are. You know, you, you, this is the Yankees. You know, this is the Yankees now. Um, and again. You know, I see people saying, no, wait a second, they spent money. They just done it, you know, in a variety and not in just one guy. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Is it, is it totally impossible? No, it's not. That they, that they would sign Machado, it's not totally impossible. I just, I don't see it happening at this point. Yeah, you know, um, my father, this is this was what my father told me a while ago, okay? Pop Simonetti. Pop Simonetti told me when the Yankees got Stanton, he said they chose Stanton over Machado and Harper. Mark it down. And Papa Simonetti may have been correct. So we'll see. Do I see the Yankees getting the Yankees more stronger now? Um, then last year, yeah, I would say the Yankees are better than last year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I definitely think Stanton's contract is one of the reasons the Yankees are a bit concerned. Doesn't give them the, the buyout, in my opinion. They make enough money. They make too much money. They make too much money. <laughs> what, you guys are really trying to resurrect George Steinbrenner now, really? <laughs> are we getting any more starting pitchers? I think it's possible in a gray deal that you can see another starter added to that mix that's from AA and AAA. Um, more of a prospect type that could possibly help. So we'll see what happens there. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. Um, we know the news of today. It's out there already. Everybody knows it. Um, I'm sure there's going to be more moves the Yankees make. It's going to be interesting. I'll report, um, as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, if I hear anything, I will put it out there as quickly as I can. And guys, remember, me and Ryan, Ryan are going to be doing a podcast. It's going to be a weekly podcast on Sundays. It is coming soon. I don't want to promise you guys on an actual premiere date, but we are still working out how it's going to work. Probably early on, it's just going to be audio, and um, it'll be on Sunday. So um, we will go from there. But guys, 
Look out for that. Look out for more news on my Twitter. If anything, I will put it there. Again, as I tell you guys all the time, you all are the best. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Talk to you guys soon. If any news breaks, I will be back.